Hey, in this video, you see me doing a super band bent over row. What I want you to focus on is not allowing any slack in that band at all. So you're pulling your arms out while squeezing your shoulder blades together, which is gonna activate that middle back along with your lats. Make sure you do high repetitions, anywhere between 15 and 20 reps and feel that burn. All right, this is a pretty cool and effective and easy tool to use to activate your lats and your middle back. What I have here is a super band, and what I'm allowing myself to do is pull my arms to the lateral part or to the side of the body while um, not allowing any slack at all on that super band. You can do some of the reps behind you or you can do some of the reps in front of you. Just make sure you do high enough reps where you feel the real burn at the end of your set. Again, have fun with this exercise and enjoy. In this video, you're gonna watch me do a super band bent over row. This is a very simple move. It may feel a little uncomfortable on your fingers with the pull, but don't worry about it, okay? Because it is very useful. Make sure you keep your abs tight, you hinge back with the hips, keep your back straight, your chin tucked in, and pull that band as far as you can go. Keep those elbows all the way back, do at least 15 to 20 repetitions and have All right, here you are watching me do a conventional deadlift on a Smith machine. Although the machine is in a fixed position, you can still do a great movement on this machine. It is very safe. Keep the heels flat, drive them through the floor, hip hinge back, keep your chin tucked in, keep your core tight, keep your shoulder blades engaged. Keep those lats engaged and just have fun with this move and be safe with all exercises. All right, in this video, you are watching what we call a prone dumbbell row or my favorite, a renegade row. You wanna focus on keeping the feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. You wanna keep your chin tucked in. You wanna make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. Most importantly, you wanna keep the abs really tight and the glutes really tight. Make sure to breathe in and out for each repetition. Breathing is important for this move. Have fun, take your time, go light, enjoy. In this video, you're watching a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. This, moves, this move is a lot more complicated than it looks like. So when you're first starting off, you wanna make sure that you go with lighter weight. You hip hinge straight back, pushing your butt back as far as it can with a slight bend in your knee, keeping your chin tucked in, abs and core tight, shoulder blades pinched, and you wanna keep the weight, all of your weight on the heels of your feet and have fun with this move. Here you are seeing a Smith machine bent over row. I hinge back at the hip. I keep my feet flat, straight forward. My feet are shoulder width apart. Chin is tucked in, abs are tight. And I'm bringing that bar straight into my gut while I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together as I bring that bar all the way to that gut. Have fun with this move and enjoy. In this video, we are doing a hamstring curl or also known as a knee flexion movement. A couple coaching points for, uh, for you in this video. Please make sure to keep the abs nice and tight along with the glutes. It'll help better contract those hamstrings as you slowly bend with the knees, okay? Have fun here, enjoy it, and please take your time. In this video, you are watching a seated, supinated cable row. Make sure your feet are anchored up in front of you. Your core is nicely tight. You're slightly leaned back. Your palms are facing up. And then as you pull back, you wanna pull with those shoulders and let the hands follow through. Have fun with this move and enjoy. <laughs> 